Hello everyone, and today we are going to cover negative exponents. Okay, so starting with our negative exponents, let's say we have some real number, we'll call it A. So if we know that A is a real number, of course other than zero, And let's say if we have another number, we'll call that n is an integer. And remember, an integer is just 0, positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, anything like that. Okay, if those two stipulations are met, then we know that a to the power of negative n is equal to 1 over a to the nth power. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, oh, just recording. <laughs> Let's say if you have x squared over x to the fifth power. Okay. We know from our previous exponents that using x to the power of m over x, uh oh, x to the power of n. equals x to the m minus n. So that means we have x squared over x to the fifth power. That's equal to x to the 2 minus 5, which is x to the negative 3 power. I'll bring that negative up a little bit more. Okay, so using this rule up here, x to the negative 3 power, we just take that negative exponent and we move it down to our denominator and make it positive. That's 1 over x to the third power. Okay. So let's say if we wanted to simplify... For problem A, 3 to the negative 2 power. For problem B, say 2 times x to the negative 5 power. For problem C, say we mix it up and make it 2 to the negative 1 power plus 4 to the negative 1 power. Okay, and for problem D, just to make sure you know what this looks like, negative 2 to the negative 4 power. All right, so we'll start with A. For problem A, 3 to the negative 2 power that's just equal to, remember we have that negative exponent and it's in the numerator, you just want to pull that down to the denominator and make it positive. So 3 to the negative 2 power is just 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. Okay, now for problem B, Whenever you have a coefficient in front of something, remember the exponent only applies to what it's right next to. So that negative 5 exponent only applies to the x. So if you have 2 times x to the negative 5 power, that's going to equal 2 times 1 over x to the fifth power. Or if you wanted to rewrite it, remember 2 is the same as 2 over 1, or you can write it as 2 over x to the fifth power. Okay, now problem C. You have 2 to the negative 1 power plus 4 to the negative 1 power. And go ahead and separate those a little. 
Okay, so 2 to the negative 1 power. Remember, you take that exponent, if it's negative, and you just move that down to the denominator. So that's 1 over 2 to the first power, or just 2. You don't need to put the first power there if you don't want to. Plus 4 to the negative 1 power is just 1 over 4 to the first power. Okay. If you want it to, you can just make that 1 half plus one-fourth. Okay. So we all know you can't add or subtract fractions unless they have the same denominator. So we're going to multiply this one by 2 over 2. Okay, so you have 2 times 1, which is 2, over 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1 over 4. Okay, we have our same denominators, so we just add across which gives us 2 plus 1 over 4, which is 3 over 4. Okay. Now for problem D, remember, whenever you have exponents, when those parentheses, the parentheses mean that that entire thing is going to be applied to that exponent. So negative 2 to the negative 4th power, that negative 4 applies to this whole thing. So that's going to equal 1 over negative 2 to the positive 4th power. We just take that exponent, make it positive, and everything in there goes down. Okay, so we know negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 16. So we have 1 over 16, because remember, whenever you have... A negative number and you have that positive exponent it's going to come out to be positive because all the negative ones cancel out okay now we can kind of tweak that general rule a little bit okay so just kind of a general Let's say in general. Okay, another way. To write any a to the negative n power. Is to just. Change the sign of the exponent. And move the base, which in this case is A, to the denominator. Okay, And then you just solve it from there. Now another twist on that one. Again, if we're assuming A is a real number. Oh, other than zero, I have to remember that little part. We'll say and is an integer. Remember, integer is just 0, positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, etc., etc., and so on. Okay, so as long as those two stipulations are met, we know that, which we figured out before, a to the negative n is 1 over a to the power of n, and See, here we have our negative and our numerator, because that could also be a to the negative n over 1. But if we flip, flip it around and have 1 over a to the negative n, we just make that sign positive and we move it up to the numerator, a to the n. Okay, so let's simplify a few problems. Okay, 
So what if we wanted to simplify, say, for problem A, say, 2 over x to the negative 3 power, and let's say for problem B, y over y to the negative 2 power. Okay, so for problem A, you want to remember the old rule for exponents that we went over last time, which is x over y to the m power is equal to x to the m over y to the m. You just distribute that exponent. Okay, so that means... 2 over x to the negative 3 power is just going to equal 2 to the negative 3 power over x to the negative 3 power. Kind of separate that a little. Okay. Now remember, when you have a negative exponent in your denominator, you move.